President Biden touts his re-election campaign as a fight to preserve democracy. But if you ask some Trump supporters, the former president is not a threat to democracy because the United States is not a democracy. CNN's Donnie O'Sullivan spoke to some of those supporters. Wait a minute, that guy looks really familiar. Where do we know him from? Christine, Laura, what you're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the course of the night, a second night. And then what you are seeing, the common theme that ties all of this together is an expression of anger and frustration. Shit, it's that guy. They must be seriously desperate to lie this blatantly with such perfectly straight faces. Despite the straight up gaslighting you're about to witness, America has always been a blend of democracy and constitutional republic values. Hence the two historic political parties, Republicans and Democrats. Oh, you're right. The entire system was set up to balance power and not give total control to either side. But as we've talked about repeatedly on this channel, going back over a decade, the Democrats are tired of that and they want total control. Now, with that in mind, let's watch Anderson Cooper and some other CNN goon lie their asses off. President Biden touts his re-election campaign as a fight to preserve democracy. But if you ask some Trump supporters, the former president is not a threat to democracy because the United States is not a democracy. CNN's Donnie O'Sullivan spoke to some of those supporters. What happens if Trump loses? I don't see him losing. I don't think he lost the last election, to be honest. Do you think he's going to win? Yes. yes. Without a doubt. No doubt. What if he doesn't this time? What happened to the country? We're in trouble. We're, We're in big trouble. Done. Biden talks about democracy, you know, saving democracy. They're the ones that are killing democracy. Obviously, there's a lot of criticisms of Trump that he is bad for democracy, that he's bad for American democracy. Okay. We so are a republic. We're a republic. We are We're not a, a democracy. We're a republic. We're not a democracy. Yeah. One thing we've been hearing at Trump rallies like this over the past few months is that America isn't really a democracy. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands and to the republic for which it stands and to the republic for which it stands. I mean, this whole democracy republicing is fascinating. This is the first I've, I've heard of that. You can't be serious. Kind of new thing that they're now pushing. And it looks like folks on Fox are pushing it. Is is there a reason the people you spoke with think the country isn't a democracy now? I mean, yeah, look, I mean, Anderson, some of those folks, no doubt, genuinely believe that and might have believed it for a long time. I, this isn't necessarily a new talking point. However, we have seen it just revive over the past few months. And the, really, the reason we did this piece was over the, you know, over the past few months, just unprompted, uh, as I was speaking to a lot of Trump supporters, they would bring this very specific lineup. Well, that's a lie. Obviously, there's a lot of criticisms of Trump that he is bad for democracy. Is America a democracy? And look, this really, it's not a debate, right, about the former government here. It's not a debate about democracy. Really why this is happening, and, and you saw it there in that piece on Fox News and elsewhere on conservative uh, and right-wing media, um, people are trying to convince Trump supporters, others, that America is not a democracy in the first place. And we actually saw, I, I happen to notice that this seemed to pick up a bit after uh, President Biden's speech in Philadelphia, uh, where he described Trump as a threat to democracy. This is how uh, they seem to be trying to twist language to try and neutralize um, describing Trump as a threat to democracy, because if America is not a democracy in the first place, then there's nothing to worry about. Oh, well, allow me to retort. All right, so I already did a video on this yesterday, but I want to quickly explain what I think is going on here. What you have are the Democrats and their state media repeating this propaganda line for the last eight years, really, about how the Republicans, their opposition, and Donald Trump are an attack on democracy. I've said for all these years that what I think they're trying to do is put into people's heads that democracy simply means Democrats in charge. And it's not hard to make this argument because you can see over the last eight years, especially, they've been really gunning for both the Supreme Court and the Electoral College. They hate the Electoral College because it's there to balance power and not allow Democrats who have some of the more populous cities to just take total control and eliminate their opposition. Because at that point, they will have gotten rid of all the guardrails and there will be nothing to stop them from doing whatever they want to do, which will include
include criminalizing the Republican Party. That's the entire game here. They just want people to think that Trump supporters and Republicans are against democracy. But we are clearly dealing with people here who are very dishonest and they don't mind doing so because they've convinced themselves that it's an attack on democracy if their opposition wins. And this almost sort of literally brings that into reality because if the Republicans win, then the Republic wins over the Democrats or democracy. And we know that democracy is the better thing because the Democrats and their state media repeat that, propagandize that on the country on an endless basis. And again, I'd like to point out that this is really dumb because like I said, this country has always been a mixture of the two things. Like many people have pointed out, the Pledge of Allegiance says right in there that the country is a republic. Nowhere in the Constitution does it mention anything about America being a democracy. The founders were against a pure democracy for obvious reasons that I've just explained. President Washington said, for example, that he knew charismatic men could seduce men into giving up their liberty. Quote, it is one of the evils of democratical governments. And the founders frequently wrote about the tyranny of the majority, which we are seeing right now. And I've always talked about this, how they say Trump is the threat to democracy, but he's not actually, because to be like an actual authoritarian dictatorial threat, you would need all the support of those roadblocks in place that were put in place. You would need their support of all those institutions to actually enforce it and carry it out. Trump does not have that. In fact, what we've seen is that those institutions, those roadblocks have actually been captured by the party in power and weaponized against their opponents before an election. And they're now charging their main opponent with things that have never been done before up until this point. And they've even admitted that you don't have to worry because you're not gonna be charged with these things, admitting that, that they were tailored for their opponent in order to rig an election in their favor. Exactly like authoritarian dictators would do. Totally different. So yeah, CNN just proved proving once again that they are the actual threat to so-called democracy, when in reality, they are the threat to our constitutional democratic republic. Because they want people thinking that we are a pure democracy because they want Democrats in total control. They have it in their heads that if Democrats have total control, then they'll quite literally be able to save the planet. These people are delusional and that's what makes them dangerous. I don't know, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so make sure to keep checking back for more. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one.